Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. DMSS, whether that be IDMSS for iOS-based devices or GDMSS for Android-based devices, is the app which allows you to remote view, live view and playback from VIP Vision, WatchCard and Secure View video recorders. Up until recently, there were two versions of the app. There was the plus version of the app, which was the paid for version, and the light version of the app, which was the free app. Recently that's been changed and the what was the plus version or the paid version is now the default version and it's become free. And the light version has been discontinued. So what you need to do now is we'll need to migrate our devices from the light version, which is no longer being maintained into the plus version of the app. Fortunately, we don't have to um, manually enter all of those details again, and we can copy those details from the light version of the app into the plus version of the app using something called device cards. And in this video, I'm gonna show you on a Galaxy S9 how to do, the, do this on the Android version of the app, okay? On the IDMSS, IDMSS version, so the iPhone-based versions, iOS-based versions, it's very similar, okay? There's a couple of minor differences, but for the most part, anything that I'm gonna show you in this um, will pretty much transfer across to how it's done on, in iOS land. So without further ado, let's jump. Okay, so here you can see the home screen of the Android device. Now, you will note that we have GDMSS Plus and GDMSS Lite already installed on this device. And we're gonna be copying our devices, as I mentioned earlier, from GDMSS Lite to GDMSS Plus. Now, if I tap on GDMSS Lite, you'll see it will launch. And once it's launched, I'm just gonna show you, just so you can see that I've got devices in here. Now, it's, I'm gonna copy the video room um, device across. However, you can select multiple devices at once and create a device card using multiple devices up to 10 at one time. So I'm just going to show you with Start Live Preview here to see that we've got a device that is functioning. Okay, and you can see, hello, I'm here. And okay, so we've verified that this device is working just fine. Now, to actually start copying these devices across, the first thing we need to do is tap up here the uh, little hamburger icon on the top left hand side of the screen and then we're going to tap on device manager. Now from here we're going to tap the blue device create device card section down the bottom of the screen here like so and we're going to select the devices that we're going to be using to create the device card. So I'm going to tap on video room and I'm going to select create device card. Now this will create a QR code obviously the size of this code will vary depending on the number of uh, devices that you have. If you wanted to copy it to another phone now, we could simply scan this uh, QR code from another device and that would copy across. However, since we're doing it on the same device, what we're actually going to do is save this QR code as an image. So I'm going to tap up here in the top right hand side of the screen. Now this is a section, this is a part where it's going to vary a little bit between the iOS and Android devices. So on Android, it's going to just save it to the file system. iOS will do the same thing but we're gonna to have to then locate that on the file system afterwards. Okay, so that's it. That's all that we have to do in IDMSS Lite or GDMSS Lite for the sake of this. So I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna exit the app. Now the next thing we need to do is open GDMSS Plus. Now you will note when GDMSS Plus opens that if I tap up here, we actually have no devices at present. Okay, so there's nothing added. So the first thing I need to do is again, tap in the top left-hand side of the screen, the little home icon at this stage. You'll note that this looks a little bit different to um, IDMSS or I should say GDMSS Lite, um, just because you know, there's been a bit of progress since the two apps diverged. And we'll tap on device. Now, what we need to do is then tap on the plus symbol up on the top right-hand side of the screen here. And I'm gonna select scan. Now normally scan would mean that we were gonna take something from the camera at the front here, but instead we're actually gonna load an image. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this step will vary a little bit when you're doing it on an iOS device, so an iPhone or an iPad. But I'm gonna tap here and I'm gonna select gallery and I'm gonna select the QR code that I just saved. Okay, so this one up here, I'm gonna select this QR code here and it'll say imported successfully. And that's it, we're done. As you can see now in the device manager section, we have our video room, which was the device that I, I copied across previously. And just to prove that we can now actually view that device, I'm gonna tap on home, I'm gonna tap preview, and I'm gonna select the device up here, video room. 
and when it loads, again, you'll see we're now viewing the same set of cameras from the plus version of the app, the more recent up-to-date version of the app, the app version that will be kept up to date from now on. So there you have it. It's uh, like I said, it's pretty easy to um, copy these devices from the old version of the app to the new version of the app. And as I mentioned, you can actually use device cards to copy between devices as well. Um, so between mobile phones from one phone to another or from a tablet to a phone or something like that. Um, we'll go over that in a future video, but hopefully this has been helpful at least so that you can, you can see how you copy devices from the old version of the app to the new version of the app. If you've got any questions or comments regarding this video or you'd like to see anything else, please leave, uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. But yeah, thanks for watching.